Let's start with general logical reasoning to understand what matter is. There is only objective reality, which unites all things that exist. That is, what really exists, whether we know about it or not, is called objective reality. This objective reality will be called matter for short, but with a capital letter, because it is the only thing that really exists. Matter has such important properties as motion of matter and density of matter. Motion of matter is essentially a change in the properties of matter, so where there are some physical properties and they can change, there is matter. The defining sign of the presence of matter is its motion. Light, microwave background of cosmic radiation, gravitation, and others, this is the motion of matter. There are no data indicating that there are no manifestations of matter movement from micro levels to the universal scale. Therefore, it can be stated that the observable universe is completely filled with matter. Matter has several forms of its existence. The summarizing equivalent of the matter motion is usually called the concept of energy. Energy of matter motion can be both kinetic energy in the form of real motion and potential energy in the form of accumulated motion that can be released with its transition into real kinetic motion. Potential energy is not only a compressed spring or a weight at some height, but also chemical energy, nuclear energy, and even the energy released when an electron annihilates with a positron, with all the potential energy of the particles passing into kinetic energy of motion of matter. That is, particles of matter and antimatter are those forms of existence of matter in which the potential energy of matter motion is accumulated. However, these forms of existence of matter occupy an insignificant part of the total volume of matter. For example, in a material such as lead, the particles of matter occupy a volume of less than 1 divided by 10 trillion, and the remaining volume is occupied by a form of matter which may be called pure matter. The forms of matter may change from one to another, but the total equivalent of matter remains constant. That is, matter cannot arise and disappear, it is eternal and its total equivalent is unchanging. More details about matter and what is related to it are discussed in the video, Philosophical Foundations of the Physical Concept of the Universe. This video is in Russian, but there are authentic subtitles in several languages. The link is in the video description. Briefly, matter is everything that really exists and has the property of motion. Matter fills all observable space, it is eternal and has several forms of existence, passing one into another.